Coming up this week on Winchester's Deadly Passion, Melissa is hunting the swamps of Florida with wild Florida outfitters, and gators are on the menu. These aren't your average sized gators either. We're talking absolute monsters that roam, hunt, and stalk their prey at night. This is some of the most incredible gator footage you'll ever see. And once the arrow hits, well, that's just the beginning. When it comes to my favorite hunt each year, well, there's a lot of them, but gator hunting, well, it is right up there. And this year, I am super excited because I'm headed to Florida. Now, I've never had a chance to gator hunt here before, but from what I've seen, they have some absolute monsters. Now in the past, I've been hunting in South Carolina and I've had incredible success. I hunt with Mendel and Tyler and those guys are just a blast. And I'm still gonna be going there, but this year, well, I decided to do something a little different. I'm headed to Florida and I'm letting my brother go hunt in South Carolina with those guys. Now this isn't an easy thing for me to do because I love gator hunting, but my brother's a huge help. He takes care of my website, helps me out with all sorts of things when I'm busy on the road in the fall. So I thought this is something that he would probably enjoy and I don't think he had any idea what he was in for. That was pretty nice of my sister to give me this hunt. I know how much she loves gator hunting, but I'm her brother, so there's some benefits of that. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little nervous. My first thought was I'm going to a slough in South Carolina filled with alligators in the middle of the night. I've shot carp and I've been bow fishing before, but this is a whole different game. These are alligators, big alligators that could potentially eat you. For the gator hunt, I decided to let my brother use my bow setup. So I have a Matthews monster that I've sort of converted into my own personal little gator getter. Now this bow has got a great setup. We had everything going and it was literally arrow after arrow. Like right yes, it's right here. Oh, she wrote. Aaron, Aaron done it again. His first and biggest alligator of the year. Troy Landry, eat your water. out. Now one of the cool things about how we hunt in South Carolina is we're hunting all private ground. And the way it works is Mendel and Tyler have a certain amount of nuisance takes. These gators are a huge problem in that area. And they said, let's fill them up. We have to get these gators, so why not hunt them and have a ball? And that's exactly what we were doing.
Yes, sir. Now this gator was giant, a huge gator, and it was an intense fight. Aaron's face, well, he was pretty much glowing, and I couldn't be more happy for him. About 23 inches. Oh. Are you at the tip of the tail? Yeah. yeah. He is 11 foot and 8 inches. I think that is a monster, and I'm just so proud to be here and be a part of it. For someone who's never gator hunted before, it's an experience. There's gators all around at night, you see their eyeballs. I mean, it's not your typical hunt, it's an adrenaline rush. It's a lot of fun and very exciting. And it was great to see. I let my brother take this hunt and he really had done well. He got tons of smaller gators, really had perfected the art of shooting gators with a bow and ended it on an absolute giant. So. It was pretty cool to see, and, and it's nice to see that South Carolina has this great of gator hunting, and people can have this much fun. Come on, Landry, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> People's crazy. Winchester's deadly passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews, catch us if you can. Cutty Back Digital. Bog Pod, versatility defined. Easton, expect the best. Winchester Repeating Arms. And Hunter Safety System. Now it was pretty cool to have a gator this big on my brother's first trip. Well, I was happy for him. And now it was time for me to head to Florida for some of those big gators down there. I was pretty excited to be heading down to Florida for some of these big gators. And I was going with what I would consider some of the best gator guides down there. Now this is Wild Florida Outfitters with Kurt and Keith Parlier. Now they are incredible gator hunters. They literally do this all year. In fact, their family well, they have started a business of processing gator meat that they sell to the seafood markets. So it's not just taking hunters, they're hunting them all the time. My dad's been doing it for 27 years, so I was kind of born into it. I've been catching gators since eight, nine years old. It's kind of been a way of life. We offer hog hunts and turkey hunts and, and of course, big alligator hunts. So any, any one of those top three and you can come on down and kill them all. In Florida, it's really productive to hunt both during the day and at night. Now all the night hunting, well we'd be doing that with a boat. And we'd be doing it very much so like I did in South Carolina, where we'll drive around, shine a light, and check in these big ponds. With the landscape, well it's totally different than what I was used to. It's just a big reclaimed phosphate mine. They fill it back up with water and then alligators, fish, birds, everything starts to filter in. So it's deep water and it is full of gators. Yeah, you'll see their heads hanging around banks or, or anywhere they can get a little shade during the day. The other way to hunt gators, well, you can go during the day, closer to dusk is usually best, and look from the points and try to glass into the water. You can see a lot of gators moving around. You might even catch one out sunning themselves on the land. But believe me, you want to try to get close to these gators on land? does not usually happen. They are extremely spooky, but you can usually watch what pond they're frequenting, and they're very territorial. So if you see a giant gator in one area, there's a good chance he'll be there for a while. Well, welcome to Florida. We're here in Big Gator Central, and right behind me, well, that's where we're just getting ready to head out and do a little gator hunt. Now this evening, I'm gonna go out with my bow hope to get in with some really nice ones. We're gonna go by boat and then maybe tomorrow do a little spot and stock during the day. The one challenge we do face tonight, well as you can see, it's windy. So with those waves hit that aluminum boat, make for some loud, loud hunting, but we're gonna get out there, try it anyways, and hopefully have a little luck. We've designed a broadhead that screws right into your arrow and the rope just hangs in front of your feet so it doesn't need to get tangled up in a reel or anything like that. It just flies right off the boat. You look for their red eyes, and then you want them to, if they start moving and swimming, that's good. When they swim, that's always a great thing. If they hold still, then they're probably gonna go down. 
We got gators that range anywhere from four to 13 foot. I mean, you pick and choose. And uh, we'll go out in the boat at night and get behind them with a the light. Just get up on them with a the bow. Hopefully they act right. And then uh, you'll shoot them right in the back. Oh, hi, Melissa. My arrow hit right on the mark, and the coolest part is, I had luminox on my arrows, and when that yeah, thing went it. under the water, the luminox stayed lit. Wow, are the bugs out of control? Okay, right here, Melissa. Turn you. Still I watch your stuff. Oh my god, just stop. You're tired, I'm tired, just cut it out. His head's gonna be up in front of you. Yeah. And right. one, two, three. Yeah, there's your answer. I'll take a first night kill anytime because it doesn't always work out that well. And well, let's face it, gator hunting is my favorite hunt of the year. So pretty good way to start out the season. And in June, when there's nothing else to hunt, I'd hunt this in the middle of November when I could be going after whitetails. <laughs> I just tried making a really, really good shot, but I shot and just lots of water went up. It doesn't look like I hit him. Looks like it was just a little bit low. I'm hoping he's gonna come back up. Maybe in this area, we're just gonna keep watching, but on these gators, you got such a small margin of error, and well, I just blew it. <laughs> but the good thing is, if this gator's in that pond, well, we believe he wasn't gonna be going far. So we decided it's time to go after this big boy with a boat. We'll go after him at night with my bow and hope he's still in the area. Once we loaded the boat in the water well, it was time to look for this big boy. It didn't take long at all, and all of a sudden, we had our flashlight glowing on what appeared to be that big gator. No idea what happened, but my arrow was not in the gator. Things were messed up and I couldn't believe it. What does this gator have, nine lives? Apparently if he does, well, two were missing because now I had two misses, one with my gun and one with a bow. But the gator hadn't left so far, so we thought, you know what, we'll just go around, look around, maybe we'll get another shot. The big ones, if once you miss them a couple times, then they get smart. But at first, if they just see how, they want to be dominant, so they'll lift their backs up or, or sit and test and see how close you'll get to them. Without much delay, as we started looking around, we spotted that big gator again. It's true, they're territorial and they don't leave their area. Well, now this was my chance. This big gator just swirled to get out of that shallow water. Oh, well, he swirled right at our boat. The trolling motor was down, and the next thing I know, my line Shoot. cut off. <sighs> Got wrapped up in a tree, busted the line. Uh, one of the challenges in hunting at night is all the ob obstacles in the water. You have to it up, wrapping the line in the tree, then around the top of the trolling motor, and pop the line. So it, your own obstacles get in the way, too. Shoot. It's <laughs> part of it. That one, big gator. You got outsmarted by it. It's not over yet. Here's your tip. Thank you. 
luck was just obviously not on my side. This gator took off, my line was cut, and that was the end of him. We sat out there for probably four or five more hours trying to see if he would come back up with maybe the arrow by him, but no such luck. More than likely, it didn't penetrate real deep. He shook it off and he was out of there. As territorial as they normally are, well, I doubt this guy wanted anything more to do with this area. Winchester's Deadly Passion is presented by Swarovski Optic, North American Hunting Club, Rage Broadheads, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Can-Am ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles, Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology, and M&P Advanced by Design. Closed captioning is brought to you by the 4-in-1 Woodsman from Zippo Outdoor. Florida so far was proven to be a pretty sweet state for gator hunting. I had a nice eight footer. We had an encounter with an absolute giant. I knew it was probably in our best interest to look around. And let's face it, apparently I could use a little practice. As soon as we launched the boat in the water, we got right to it and we spotted a nice gator. about ripped me off the boat. He had a bank here, he was a okay. bank stick. I work here. Why is it when you hand me to send take off for me? All right, y'all hang on, he's about to come this way. Heck yeah, he's good. God, that's a big gator. <laughs> Holy cow. I realized how big he was. Oh, we've got a big gator on board. This one is just awesome. We got up nice and close, and we've got one in the boat. I'm glad you brought enough arrows. Hey, you know what? I know there's a lot of gators out here. <laughs> so I've got an assortment. You can see I keep them very organized so you can find them. <laughs> right up on him. He looked like he, he could care less. He was not even going down. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you see him at all? And the sweetest part is, look it, I've got a pink bow out gator hunting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, time to find the buoy. Oh, come on, where are you at? I, just, I hope he didn't wrap up in these trees. Now we've got the gator one line in him, but we're going to try for one more. We've got trees all over here, so we're getting a second one ready in case he comes up. Put one more arrow in him. I think you're ready. Here he comes. Right now. Shh, Cole, hush. You ready? Here we go. He comes up top. He's coming up top. Shoot him. Right there he is. Good. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Right there. There we go. Good boy. Two, three. 
get his head back over here. Holy cow, he is big. Whoa! That was awesome. Nice work, guys. <laughs> We're out here in Florida, and I just had an absolutely incredible hunt. This gator is my biggest one ever, 11 foot nine, and the coolest part is I got him with a bow. Everything worked out perfect. One shot with a bang stick, and we have got an absolute giant gator here. Never been able to hunt Florida before, but I was definitely missing out.